is 5 minutes with the Flexbot. It's an open source multi-copter that lets you fly with your mobile phone. It made it big on Kickstarter and I had to go try it. And it looks the part as well. So, Kickstarter in brief, you go back it, it gets enough money before deadline and then it goes ahead. Otherwise it doesn't and you don't get charged for it. This one only wanted 10k, but going viral brought it to 563k. Pretty impressive. So, what do you get with the package besides the multi-copter? Well, get a charger, propellers and motors. Now, a quick aside about the motors that you see here. A bunch of people are having trouble for not flying properly. Be sure to follow the manual or at least this image from the Kickstarter activity. Orange or USB is the front, Bluetooth antenna is at the back, which I'll show later. Anyway, I like this nice card showing their timeline and the delays that it went through. It was kind of artsy and I sort of had to go through it and sort of, you know, reminisce about the delays they went through at the time. They also give you a green box, which was nice. Also doubles as, well, what to carry it in when you're walking around with it. The handle has a good feel to it, which honestly sounds kind of weird, but you could be sort of certain that it's not going to be accidentally opening and you're going to be dropping your bits everywhere. That's good. I like to think of it as a bit of a lunchbox. So you can see there, have got a couple of batteries and the quadcopter fitting in pretty well. The battery itself that it uses is pretty standard and you could source it elsewhere if you want. You could see in the foreground here in the battery holder the clips of the flex spot. A good idea is to get multiple batteries if you want more out of its flight time. 500 milliamp gives you about 7 minutes of flight time. Now I'm going to show you how to connect the battery up here but first look at the bottom of the flex spot here. You can see that brown rectangle? That's the rear or the blue fat tooth antenna that I mentioned earlier. So you flip the thing over and you look for the big holes on the bottom here. I'll just point them out and then you slide that in and well that's pretty much it. You, you have to put it on the ground and flat before you connect the battery like you can see. This is important because it's got to be able to calibrate its sensors and stuff properly. Can't do that and it'll flow very weird when you take off. Now we've also got a phone app which I'll uh, show here. This is pretty cool, also pretty simple with the default settings being on the left side of the phone. Here we go. The left side of the phone is the throttle. You can hear it taking off a bit there. Luckily I'm holding it. It's got a fair bit of thrust in it. So left is throttle and roll is side to side and pitch is back forward and back on the right stick. So up and down is pitch. If this is your first multi-copter it takes a bit of time to get used to. So you can see there I just unlocked I locked it so the light turned off. Here at night time it's much more visible here. I'm going to pair it up. Bluetooth connection, there we go, all good. So now I'm ready to fly. See me turning the lock on, off. So it's you've got the red light so it's good to go. While this is flying, just a quick note. I realised in the first video how tricky it was to take these kind of things without someone to move the camera and yeah even when they've got the camera it's it's fairly tricky to keep an uh, eye on it while it's moving around but works pretty well as you can see it, uh, it's able to be pretty smooth. Overall build quality isn't the greatest being that it's a 3D printed design and all open sourced so if you don't like this, you can go take it somewhere and print out a better design. You can see there on the uh, the frame and that kind of thing. I mean, it feels tough and it can take crashes, but it won't stand a proper really tough impact. So just be careful and learn inside. Looks pretty good, eh? So just while I wrap this up, this one I got was the Hexacopter. Now I got this because it's going to come with a camera, so you could do video recording with it. That hasn't come yet and it'll be good to see what that's like when it's come out. So flexbot.cc, it's pretty good. I liked it. The app just worked, which is uh, nice. Good stuff.